Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine and my name is David and today we're taking a look at two bite-sized card games, Pretense and Wildcats. Now these are designed by a designer that I have fun following uh, named Jason Tagmeyer. Um, now Jason, his first game that I've ever played was Pixel Lincoln, it was a kooky zany deck building game that I had fun with. Uh, opened my eyes to his game, uh, his games and there have been a ton that I like and a few that I haven't, but um, that has always been a task of mine to follow designers that I like. Now he is doing a wallet branch type games with these two games right here. Um, I hope to get the other games to review them and I'm going to do solo reviews as I go on but I want to do a dual review because Pretense here is a game that you play within a game. Uh, think Gameception if you will. And uh, I'm going to get into a little more detail a little later in the video when I show you how to play this one. Uh, and Wildcats, think of the game Win, Lose, Banana. If you've play, ever played that small um, three card game, uh, this elaborates that and adds even more cards. Now again, this was a Kickstarter edition, so there are going to be special things in here that you might not get if you buy these at the retail store. But um, this is going to give you a good flavor of what these games are all about. So, with that being said, let me show you what are contained in these tiny little wallets, and then I'll show you how to play each of these games. So, let's go. So here are the components of Pretense, uh, a game night social metagame. Metagame means it's breaking the fourth wall of gaming itself, drawing from past experience, yada, yada, yada. The first thing you have is the wallet container itself. I like the um, art and or the print on the very outside looks just like a wallet and the print is done nicely of pretense it holds the cards pretty well when they're not sleeved but when it starts to sleep you sleeve them if you sleep all of them it starts to bulk up you have the rules uh, that are very easy to go through and find out how to play this game which you'll see in a minute and then you have the cards themselves there are going to be more that you see here that you won't get from the retail because again, I backed this on Kickstarter. Uh, you didn't need to sleeve these cards, but I like to sleeve, sleeve identity cards because um, the linen finish is very nice. The uh, decorative art is like 80s wallpaper and the actual person art is really neat too. So those are the actual components for pretense. Now let's go over Wildcats. And here are the components for Wildcats. Uh, fewer cards, so if you sleeve them, this wallet will fold even uh, if you sleeve them very nicely. It's a nice blue kind of plasticky outside, but I like the containment. Uh, you get the rules, you get the actual cats. Again, you're going to see more because I backed the Kickstarter, uh, and you, these are the rules that you're going to be uh, um, taking on and then these are the win cards if you win the round you get one of these feline friends so those are the actual components for both games now let me start by showing you how to play pretense all right the game of pretense is like no other it's going to be played throughout the game night over game after game and the winner is going to be determined by the person who can gather the most pretense cards. Each person is going to have one identity, but at the beginning of the game you pass out two and they pick one and, and uh, remove the other one from play. I suggest that you keep two identities to make the game a little more spicier, but the rules say to keep one identity and that's the role that you're going to be taking on tonight. So say you're playing a game of One Night Werewolf. You're going to be trying to do things or try not to do things depending on what cards are in play. Now you don't know what they are, so let me go over what they do right now. The first one you've seen here is the glutton. If another player hands you food or drink, you may take their card. Uh, when you take their card, you have to um, flip yours, show who you are, take uh, their card in front of you and then you throw your card out and uh, shuffle the deck and take another one and put it in front of you you do get to look at it though so you assume a different role but are still in the game this essentially takes the other player out of the game which is why I suggest having two cards just to give this game a little more life but this is a micro game so this is one point towards the ultimate game at the end of the night uh, cheapskate if another player hands you money you may take their roll card that's another one there frat boy if another player gives you a high five you may take their roll card that 
might be pretty easy uh crafter if anyone if you convince uh the group to play a game with a house rule you may take their card and that might be pretty hard the model here if another player takes a picture of you you may take their old card and i don't like cell phones out during my gameplay but that might happen a uh, critic if another player refuses to play a game that at least two players want to play you may take a roll card uh uh, the busybody if another player makes a phone call again I don't like uh, cell phones you take their card so yes take their card a uh, bookworm if another player hands you the rule book you may take their card uh, that can be done uh, made if you are the only player to clean up a game you may take another player's card so uh, things are going to um, promote and advocate different things and once you play this game um, you will know what the roles do but going into this you have no idea um, but uh, when you on repeat repeat plays it create paranoia which I think is kind of interesting in a, in a interesting social experiment so old dog here if you convince the group to play the games uh, a game two times you get to take somebody's roll card again it's anybody who you want uh, and some of these roles again are subjective uh, subjective to the uh, Kickstarter uh, sport if you catch some Something thrown by another player you take their card sore loser uh, if you are uh, you if you come in last in at least two games then you get to take somebody's card uh, the champ is the same way if you win two games in a row you get to take somebody's roll card so this is all gonna be happening happening during different games like one night werewolf here or um, corkle if you have corkle or party game it doesn't matter this is how pretense works so ultimately you continue to play this being paranoid of other people not giving people food or helping everybody clean up games just to make sure you don't get your roll uh, card taken until the game is over by everybody losing their card or somebody having the most at the end of the night so that is how you play pretense now let's go over to wildcats and i'll show you how to play that Speaking of Gameception, why not play Pretense while you play the game of Wildcats? This game is super fast and a standalone game, not something that you're going to be playing throughout the night. Shameless promotion aside, this game consists of three cards, and the Kickstarter gives you a few more, but again, this uh, a different or the same take of win lose banana there is a good uh, cat a bad cat and a wild cat they all have different win con uh, conditions and the wild cat conditions the rules here you may tell the truth or lie that's important you win if there is a three-way tie between the good cat bad cat and you or if you are eliminated so you want to get eliminated or you want to tie that's what the wild cat does and that's how he wins the bad cat here the rule is he must lie he always has to lie about everything when he's asked a question because this is a game that is going to be consistent uh, of about a minute and or two minutes depending on how long you want to play it but a faster game it makes for a better game because you can keep playing over and over again because that's what this type of game is all about so he wins if the good cat is eliminated so he's trying to find that person that has to tell the truth so he's thinking of questions that is um, related around maybe the surroundings that the good cat has to tell the truth about and make his deductions that way but remember the wild cat can do uh, either a lie or a truth so the pattern being the good cat has to tell the truth he wins if the bad cat is eliminated so those are all the win conditions now um, you can spice this up with a few other cards that I'm going to show you here in a second but this game is very simple um, at the end of the timer you're going to uh, point to who you want to eliminate the majority vote wins that cat is eliminated and then you check the win conditions to see who wins now let's show you the Kickstarter editions that they have and I think they may might have them in here but again this is all sub subjective to change so the fat cat here you may tell the truth or lie reveal yourself before the vote though so you have like once uh the vote goes on you take a beat and say three two one and then uh before that happens you reveal yourself uh you don't vote but you still point you steal the win if uh you point to the winning player um so if the good cat wins because this cat is eliminated then you win that's a way that you can share a win that's one of the three um other cats in the game smarty cat you may tell the truth or lie 
at any time reveal yourself choose a player to look at their card uh, you do not vote you tie for a win if the player you choose loses so I don't know how I feel about that card. Cool Cat is one of the cooler ones, of course. Uh, he looks neat. Uh, you may tell the truth or lie. Uh, you, can't, you can't ask questions, though. You just got to be cool, you know? Uh, do not vote. You win if no other player wins. So you're trying to get a tie. You're just like, stay cool, brother. You know, whatever. Hey. So those are the three additional rules uh, if you want to add these. But again, this is just win, lose, banana, and, and a cuter skin. Uh, you're going to be playing round, round after round, uh, depending on whatever, whatever you want to do. But this is just a small party game. Uh, and uh, you get these different cats as tokens to show points when you win around. But they're different things nothing special about them so that is how you play wildcats and pretense now let's give these small games a grade and tell you what i think let's go so as i always do i'm going to be giving this game a grade but i'm going to be doing something different i'm going to have a two thumbs up i recommend this game or a one thumbs up this is a good game if you want this experience and it sounds good to you go out and buy it or no thumbs don't get this game because they're smaller games and I can't really do what I normally do which is percentages and our le uh, letter grade. The first one I'm going to start with is uh, Wildcats, that's why I have it in my hand. Uh, this is again just win, lose, banana and a different skin but with a few different rolls. I kind of spice it up a little bit um, which I guess isn't really a bad thing. Um, it It's uh, something that I think gets a one thumb up from me. If it's a kind of portable deduction kind of experience that you want just to take like in a um, airport lobby uh, if you have three people and or six because it goes up to that win lose banana does not um, then it's this that you want uh, it's something about this type of deduction game that just has people laughing um, having to think up something real fast in a time limit just to figure out who you need to eliminate to win uh, your condition on your card and, it's, and for some people though it's hard to bluff or do these type of games so I can see where this can fall to a wayside but I, I have seen even the most gamery game uh, pers people play this over and over again but I haven't seen people come back and repeat playing so there's a thing where I'm like yes I recommend this game with the caveat of it's something of an experience that you can take on the run if you're looking for that. So that's Wildcat. But Pretense here is one of my favorite um, wallet games that I have. Of course, I only have two to uh, draw from right now, but I'm pretty sure it's going to remain at the top. I'm giving this one two thumbs up. If you want to get a wallet game, I uh, from at, at this point, I would pick Pretense because it is, like I said before, a social experiment of a metagame. A very simple uh, take, too. Just give a person a card and see how the night transforms. So, uh, now that I know that um, the glutton's going to uh, you know, come into play if I hand Timmy here the chips, well, he's not getting me to hand him the chips. I don't care if they're across the room and I can stretch my arm like Mr. Fantastic. He's going to grab those chips. So that's what happens with the night when pretense is introduced into it. I haven't played it as much as I want to, but it is always suggested because it is so simple. Um, like I said before, one card isn't enough for me. I always give each player two cards, especially in a lower uh, card, well, in a lower player game. Uh, this can be a two table experience. Uh, if you have like 12 people and you have enough um, cards, you can give everybody a card and then uh, switch off or condense down, see who has the most um, cards at the end of the night. It can just be stretched like that. It's interesting. So I think this is a, um, a different take on a card game, a micro card game at that. So thanks so much for watching today's review. Please click subscribe right here and click like right down here. Very much would appreciate it. Until the next time that I see you, I've been Dave. And have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play. You heard it here on the Game Vine. And I'm out, everybody. Bye. I can see that you have the sport. So catch. Oops.